In this lesson we do some work on equal number sentences. The first one we've got 8 plus 5 equals something plus 9. Now you can see those numbers there on the left, 8 plus 5, we know that equals 13. So we've got one side equals 13, we've got to make sure the other side is equal to 13 as well. So we've got to ask ourselves, something plus 9 makes 13. Well that something is 4. The next one, 17 plus something equals 13 plus 10. Well this time, the numbers on the right, 13 plus 10, let's add them together, we get 23. So if we get 23 on that side, we need to get 23 on the other side as well. So 17 plus something is 23. Look, if you know the answer, great. If not, let's use our hands. We're thinking 17, we need to get to 23. So let's think 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. We needed to add 6 to get that answer. Terrific. Now the next one's a little bit different because both sides are incomplete. Now on the left hand side, when this is the case, I think 10 is a good number to work with. If we write 7 there, 7 plus 3 equals 10. So if we've got this side as 10, we want the other side to be 10 as well. So we think 5 plus 5 will make 10. Okay, so there's one example of a correct answer. There could be plenty more. In fact, let's look at another one. On this side, if we put a 3 there, 3 plus 3 is 6, we would need 6 on the other side as well. And 5 plus 1 equals 6. Okay, so there's another example of a correct answer. So in this type, there may be many solutions, many answers. This one here, 11 plus 4 equals something plus something. Well, 11 plus 4 certainly is 15. We've got 15 on that side. So we need 15 on the other side. So we simply need two numbers that add up to 15. Again, there's lots of different combinations. One of them would be 10 and 5. That would be 15, that's correct. What about another pair? Can you think of another pair? What about 8 and 7? Again, that would be correct as well. So this type, there may be many solutions too.